Welcome to another new video. In this one, we're going to show you how to do image to video generation using ComfyUI 1 2.2 and RunPod Serverless. In the previous video, we covered text to video generation. So this time, we're taking it one step further. Here's a quick glimpse of the demo so you know what's coming. All the files and a full written guide are available in the YouTube description. Before you start watching, make sure you've downloaded everything and have the helper document open. Otherwise, you might have trouble following along. Let's dive in. Use my RunPod referral link to grab a one-time credit from five bucks up to 500. And it's a cool way to support me too. And hey, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and help me reach 1,000 subs so the channel can get monetized. It really helps me keep making awesome videos like this. Now, let's go ahead and create a network storage so we can test the required workflow. We'll also download the necessary models right into our pods. Later on, this same setup will be super handy when we switch things over to serverless. All right, now we'll create pods to download all the required models and grab the API workflow for building our serverless app. Don't worry, all the codes are already provided, including the app, so later it's mostly just adding your API key and running everything. In pods, select the network storage we just created. For the template, search for and pick Comfy UI Manager Permanent Disk, Torch 2.4, then click on Deploy On Demand. After that, check the logs to see what's happening. Once it says pod ready to use, you're good to move on to the next step. Next, open JupyterLab and head over to the terminal. Type dot slash run underscore gpu.sh and just follow along. All the commands are already given in the worker file. Just copy, paste, and wait for it to finish running. Next, open Comfy UI on port 8188. On the menu, click on Browse Template. Then go to the video section and choose WAN 2.214B image to video. Once selected, just hit enter and you're good to go. You'll see a bunch of missing model notifications pop up, but don't worry, that's totally normal. We just need to download those models one by one and place them in the correct folders. All right, now go back to Jupyter Lab, open the Comfy UI folder, and then click on the models folder. In our helper file, I've already listed all the download commands along with the exact locations where each model needs to go. So just follow that, copy and paste the commands one by one into the terminal and let them download. It might take a bit of time depending on your internet speed, so be patient. Once all the models are downloaded and placed correctly, we'll be ready to refresh Comfy UI. Let's refresh Comfy UI and get ready to test it out. Upload the image you want to convert into a video. I'm going to keep all the settings as they are, but you can totally play around with the prompt and tweak the settings if you'd like. Once everything looks good, click on Run and let it do its thing. Depending on your GPU speed, it might take a few minutes to finish. Just sit back and wait, and soon you'll see your image beautifully turned into a video. Now that everything's tested and the output looks perfect, let's clean things up a bit. We'll remove any unnecessary nodes from the workflow to keep it simple and efficient. Once that's done, Go ahead and download the cleaned up workflow and the API files. This will make it much easier to use later on when we move to the serverless setup. Keeping things organized now will save you a ton of time later. All right, now let's clean things up a bit. First, we need to move the models folder from Comfy UI to the workspace root. Just run the command shown in worker file. Once that's done, it's time to tidy up. We'll remove the Comfy UI folder and any other unnecessary stuff, so the workspace stays clean. After that, you should only have the models folder left in your workspace. Nice and organized, ready for the serverless setup. Now you can go ahead and terminate the pod. We don't need it anymore. Everything important's already been saved in the workspace, so you're good to shut it down. All right, now let's set up the serverless part. Go to Run Pod Serverless and choose the GitHub file. Make sure you've already downloaded the GitHub project from the link below and uploaded it to your own GitHub account. And double check that your GitHub is connected to RunPod in the settings. Once that's all set, select the correct GitHub file and click Next. 
Now choose your GPU, and under the environment variables, add your hugging face token and your API key. Once everything looks good, hit deploy. That's it. Your serverless is now spinning up and ready to handle video generation. Once your serverless endpoint is deployed successfully, you'll see the status showing ready. Now, we've got just a few more steps to finish the setup. Go to Manage and choose Edit Endpoint. Here, add two new environment variables, Comfy Polling Max Retries equals 2000 and Comfy Polling Interval equals 500. These are super important for video generation since it takes longer than image generation. Next, scroll down to the Advanced section and add your network storage. Make sure it's the same one where you downloaded all your models. After adding the storage, you might see a GPU unavailability message. No worries, just update it to a different compatible GPU. Finally, click Save Endpoint. The rollout process will start automatically and can take up to an hour, so be patient and wait for it to finish. Now that the rollout is complete, let's test our serverless setup using Postman. First, upload the provided Postman file into your Postman app. Then, make sure to update it with your serverless endpoint ID and your serverless API key from RunPod. Once that's done, you're ready to start sending requests and see if everything is working correctly. Next, go back to the GitHub project. You'll find a Postman testing file there. Open it, copy the code, and paste it into Postman. Now, we need to add the image in base64 format because that's how the serverless setup works. Use a PNG to base64 converter, upload your image, and copy the generated base64 code. Paste that code into Postman in the correct field. Once everything is set, click Send to submit your request and start testing your serverless workflow. Once you send the request, if your API setup is correct, you'll get an ID in the response. Copy that ID, then open the Get Status Postman file. Paste the ID there and click Send. You'll see a JSON response showing the status, like in progress, error, and so on. You can also check RunPod serverless under the Request section to see your current requests. If everything's set up correctly and runs without errors, you'll get the output image in base64 format. Copy that, base64 code, and clean it using Notepad. Make sure to remove anything extra so only the pure base64 content remains. This step is crucial before converting it into an actual image or video. Next, take the cleaned base 64 code and go back to the GitHub project. You'll see a file called base64.txt. Just open it and paste the code there. This will prepare it for the next step where we convert it into a usable image or video. I've also created a base64 to video converter for you. Just open the helper file, copy the command, and paste it into your command line. Hit enter, and voila you'll see the converted video file ready. Open it up, play it, and there you have it. Your image has been successfully turned into a video using the serverless setup. All right, we're not done yet. I've also created a function app so you can test everything in a more user-friendly way. First, open the other code file called a serverless app in your code editor. Update the .env file with the necessary API keys the same ones you used in Postman. Once that's done, start the development server. You can find more details in the helper file and the README. Now, open the app in your browser, upload the image you want to convert, fill out any necessary fields, and tweak the settings as you like. Then, click Send and wait for it to finish processing. The best part is, the Base64 is automatically converted behind the scenes, so you only see the final video in the preview. You can either download the video or watch it directly in your browser. This app is also a great template. You can customize it or even use it as a starting point to build your own video generation app using the serverless API. It's fully functional and everything is ready for you to experiment and create your own projects. If you need any help or have suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm also open for work, AI, 
or non-AI, simple or complex projects, anything you can think of. You can reach me anytime through the email in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. In the next video, we'll dive into adding your own custom workflow and node setup in the serverless environment. So stay tuned.